What? What are you doing? Freaking weirdo. So we have all, all the infantry stuff. Bipod. Oh, that's not 500 meters. Adjust my zeroing. And for air, we have full, look at that, ooh, full throttle rudder, Q and E. Ah, that's so nice. Just to give you an example, before it was, this is pushing Q and E, you have, you have no subtlety at all. So this makes flying much easier. And then we have full stick analog movement, too. And for vehicles, you can see we have full analog steering and full analog throttle. That's just a quick little highlight of the what we got going on. So, okay, welcome to another Steam Controller video for Arma 3. Seriously, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? So anyways, what was I trying to say? Welcome to another Steam Controller Arma 3 vid. Uh, if this is your first one, please watch the previous one because this is just going over changes. So, let's get in here and look at this. This is the infantry set. The vast majority of the infantry stuff has stayed the same, and the game is pretty much completely playable just from this infantry set if that's how you choose to play, but with the new function of having sets, now I have a unique set for land and a unique set for air. So first off, let me just go over what I had to change off of this infantry set. So before I had select button was my uh, command. Now select will switch between those vehicle sets. So we don't want to push that right now. Command is now my modify button and A. So I hold in the modifier, A, and then that comes up. Go over there. Two, move back. Roger that. Okay, so that is a change from my previous profile. Another change, is this was actually a deficiency that I noticed, is I did not have target. So now target is in here if we hold the modifier and then right trigger. So I can modify, and then I would squeeze to shoot, or, you know, modify, take the target off. I want you to die! Yes, burn! Burn beautifully! Everything else on this set is pretty much the same, which, like I'm saying, it you can pretty much do everything. Now, I had experimented with analog movement on the soldier, which was really cool because it would toggle like it would uh you know based on how far i was pushing the stick then he would go to a jog from this walk except it was getting fussy with uh diagonal movements so i scrapped that idea and that was just that was just teased in my last video anyways i didn't actually put that into any profile yet so that this does not have analog movement on the soldier but it does have analog movement for land vehicles and air vehicles. Now, the important thing is you can't just grab this profile and use it. I need you to do a little bit of legwork. So, let me show you what we're talking about. You going to go to configure controls and then you can see let's go go to vehicle now the default had nothing from controller Xbox. So you just need to bind in. First, make sure you're using um, you know, a 360 template. So if you're on this profile, hit that, you know, hit select once to switch over. Because if you try to bind it in now on this infantry set, I don't have analog stuff set. 
So if you try to squeeze the trigger for car forward, it's going to map in as a left mouse button because it's fire. So that's just one thing to bear in mind. And it's it's very simple to set this stuff. So I can show you, like, for instance, oops, that's because, yeah, I'm, it's the wrong thing. So let me just switch this to default. Now I'm going to switch to my vehicle set, so I hit select once, and then I just steer left. So x-axis will be steering. So you need to bind trigger, trigger, left and right. That's it for vehicles. In helicopter movement, we got to do a little bit more. You'd want to switch this again to helicopter, or like I'm saying, just use you know a 360 template. Which I mean, you can you know go in there and just switch it over to gamepad. That might make it easier for you. I'm not going to do that because I need to play with this profile for an hour before I can share it with you. So we're eating up some of that time right now. So yeah, then you would want to bind in, you know, the nose, forward, back, left, right, all on the stick with 360 output, and Q and E on the triggers, which makes a huge, huge difference. And then the same thing uh, for plane movement, the Q and E is going to carry over. You'll just have to assign the stick. And that's all. Okay, I mean, I know it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Now, what you could try to use the 360 mapping preset. I, it was causing me trouble. I wanted more control, so I just bound it in myself. Now, if you go to here and customize, under schemes, you could select controller 360, push map, and that's going to, like, kind of give you some of the stuff, but... It's going to cause you troubles, I'm, tell I'm telling you. It's a little bit more work, but far less headache to just do the way I'm suggesting. And if you get into a vehicle and you notice that you're throttling forward and it's driving you insane, which it was for me, it's the Z-axis. So let me, yeah, you can see when I pull in the trigger, I'm on the vehicle set. That's the z-axis. If this dead zone is down some, see, like I can't. He won't. He won't stop. He <laughs> won't stop. That was driving me crazy. And I figured out what I had to do was go into that controller, customize, and just up that. I for me right there. It might you know dependent on your controller. So, okay, that's all I need you to do to get this stuff working. Um, one more one more thing that I changed, just for my own convenience, uh, for the sling assist, I also bound in right control B. The default is left control. I don't have anything. This really only applies if you have the DLC. And I did that because... Um, I already have left control func bound to infantry, so if you need to use the sling assist or the sling, switch back over to the infantry set. Because that'll give you the left control plus uh, right mouse switches to the sling uh, camera. And then right control, it's a little fussy, but... So we're going to hold right control, modifier, bumper, binoculars, there, the sling assist came up. And then sling assist would be binoculars. So that's a little fussy, which I kind of intentionally left a little fussy, thinking uh, you're probably not going to need that a whole lot anyways. So if you do, you know, you're just going to be switching back to this infantry set and then toggling back to air. That covers the main changes or how to actually get to it. So I don't really need to go over too much in the land stuff. That should make, you know, should make sense. Gas, brake. Uh, if you were in a vehicle that had a gun, the right click, 
would be that, and then left click is let's switch over. Left click is uh, right mouse. Right click is left mouse. And I'm I'm in the vehicle set right now, so that <laughs> if that confuses you, <laughs> if you're not sure which set you're in, you want to be in land. The land the land infantry set is the only one that has uh, the touch menu. Okay. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to give you a notification of which set you're in. Maybe that'll change. Uh, this is all Steam beta stuff, but people were asking me about this, so I wanted to get it out. So yeah, in this land one, you can see we have it all here. Uh, start is your change view. Target for land and air is going to be that right bumper. Fire, click, uh, zoom in view, click. And this is bound to A and D because for tanks, the analog steering was not working for tanks. So that will be, you know, so you can still steer tanks left and right, but they do have the analog throttle. Uh, trigger in all the way is fast forward. And then we still have, you know, scroll up, scroll down, fire mode. Nothing's bound to left, that you can bind in whatever you need. And if you needed to bind something to the paddles, nothing's bound in there either. The land one is a little bit sparse, because I. it's mainly just for driving. And the main can, things that I wanted was just that analog steering and analog throttle. So if we switch over to air, mostly the same stuff from the uh, vehicle set. Except this, the triggers are analog rudder, Q and E, which... With analog control, it, it's a huge, it makes it so much easier to fly. Target is the same. Countermeasures. And then uh, throttle up and down is bound to the grips. Change view, start, that's the same. This stuff's, why will always be, why is lights on land and air? And then for the air one, we have hover, landing gear, and then use, which is carried over from all of them also. Shoot, zoom in, it's all the same. The land and air basically are just the essentials. That's me That's me thinking, you as the pilot, that's it. You're not getting access to command, you're getting access to fire and countermeasure stuff, but it's probably going to be easier for you to switch over to the infantry, like if you're actually being a gunner. So, that's that. What else do I need to cover? Um, boy, this advanced flight model is so touchy about the the throttle getting close to the ground. It makes it really hard to land. <laughs> Which I guess it should be. It's a flying a freaking helicopter. Alright, let's just try to touch down here and not kill myself. Down, 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 down. Alright. I mean, after running through the the helicopter missions and the, the training, I feel like I should be expecting my flight license in the mail in a couple of weeks. This game is crazy. So yeah, that's that's it. Now you get all the benefits of my previous profile with full analog controls. You just have to remember toggle back and forth with that select button. So all right, I hope you enjoy it. I will see you around. Oh. Arma 3 with a controller. This might take a little bit of time. Yes, you get the <clears throat> Yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh, shit. Red, the color of my car. Oh, sorry. 
<laughs> into little lame is there. Oh, I suck. You suck so bad, you should be a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I know. Shut up.